Hi folks, in this video we will be looking at the Bosch 230 series, 231 series reduction gear starters which are fitted on most of the popular tractors today, John Deere, Case, Landini, Perkins engines, Deitz engines, also fitted on DAF trucks, MAN, Volvo, Iveco, Mercedes and Scania. Now let's go and have a look at these starters and we will diagnose what the problem is. Okay folks, to identify the Bosch 230 reduction gear 12 volt starter, you on the sticker you will see 0 0012300020. If it's a 24 volt starter, you will see 0 0012301. That's the 24 volt version of this starter. Uh, now folks, to test this starter, we have the starter mounted on a ground device. Two check to see what is the problem inside in the motor we simply touch the lead on here onto the leads that goes into the motor onto the brushes and we find we have a short that tells us there's a problem here in the brush box area and the armature okay we will now proceed to dismantle the starter right folks to dismantle this starter now we will just remove this cap you see here this plastic cap which holds a cert clip here and washer. We now need to loosen the two true bolts as you can see here and here with a 27 Torx. It's loosened, we now proceed to loosen the 17 nut fitted on the solenoid here. Okay folks, now we have the bolts removed, not removed of the solenoid, now we just remove this cap on top of the starter, tap it off gently, now we've got a mess here. Okay, just to give you a view of it, now you can see that the commutator is burdened, the brushes have burdened, and it really is a mess. Okay, now we will proceed to remove the armature and yoke. Okay, folks, we will now proceed to remove the yoke, and the armature comes together, and as you can see, it's badly burdened shorted completely. Coils inside, burdened as well. Heat it. Okay? Okay folks, we will now proceed to assemble the starter. Firstly though, we pull off this cover here, as you can see, which covers small spider gears here. A small drop of lubricant on the gears because they do, they do dry out from use. We will also put a small drop of oil on the centre bushing you can see in here. Okay? Put the cap back. Now, put the cap back on, gears oiled, bushing oiled. We now proceed to fit the new armature. As you can see, commutator, perfect. As new. Well, it is new. Okay, folks, down it goes. Just give it a little twist to make sure it's free. Now, we will proceed to fit the yoke, which comes with brushes fitted. Also, it has a holder just here that keeps the brushes back while we slide it down. We just carefully slide it down. Okay. We can now proceed to fit the new bushing in the cover here. Very important to fit this bushing. Okay folks, we now need to remove bushing, which you can see here, which will have worn because the start has quite an amount of work done. To do that, leave in the vise, tin socket, hammer, and just gently the bushing out. Now, to refit, this is the new bushing, to refit we can just carefully fit it onto the cover and gently tap it into place. Okay folks, see? New bushing fitted, perfect. Make sure when you're tapping down the bushing that it's level with the surface of the cover here. Okay. Okay folks, we will now proceed to fit the cover back on the starter, as you can see here. Oh. 
Okay, folks, we just put down our two true bolts. Okay, folks, now we've assembled the starter. The two true bolts, which you see here, tread into aluminium, do not over tighten. I would suggest a quarter of a turn after you feel it becoming tight, like that. And the same with this one, quarter turn, that will leave it perfect. Now we will proceed to fit cert clip and washer onto the end of the armature here. After that, I would advise always fit a new cap because they get damaged, they do come loose. To do that, just simply tap it on with the hammer. Okay folks, we now need to tighten the nut on the solenoid. Again, do not over tighten, it will cause damage. The treads can be very light here. Okay guys, we can now run the starter. Should be ready to rock. Okay folks, we've now assembled the starter. Just connect the positive of your jumper lead onto the solenoid here, connect to the top, connect down onto the ignition uh, connection on the side of the solenoid. And away we go. And that's it, starter one. Okay folks, to identify if it's 12 or 24, use a 12 volt battery, well charged, and you simply touch it onto the connection on the solenoid here, the small connection. When you do that, if it's 12 volts, you will hear a very, very strong noise from the solenoid. Very pronounced. If you, if you would like to, you can also run the motor directly here. You just touch the lead on. You will find the starter spins very fast. That's 12 volt start. Now we will look at the difference in the 24 volt one. Okay folks, we now have a Bosch reduction gear starter. To identify is it 12 or 24 with the same battery, we touch onto the small connection again. You hear a very weak noise from the solenoid. Now, we can also run the motor here, like we did the 12 volt. Now, as you can hear, that sound is a lot slower, a lot weaker, which tells us it's a 24 volt starter. That's the only checks you need to do. Okay, folks, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope it's of some benefit to you. Uh, we will be doing more Westronic videos in the future, covering tractors and trucks, starters and alternators. Thank you very much.